One of the comments I get all the time is, how do I fight a larger opponent? I'm like, but just literally watch any video I've ever done ever. Because <laughs> anything I've ever done to anyone was done to a larger person. But actually, that's probably the second dumbest comment. The dumbest comment is, what do we do to a shorter fighter? Like, how do we keep them away? Like, how would I know that? How would I know anything like that? So, I've got help. Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> The king of keeping people away. <laughs> I, I, I like, the, I like the, the fact that you think I do. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you don't you. do that? I mean, I do keep people away, but I, I like to think, you know, I want to thank you for thinking that I'm the best at it. We're one of the best at it. Don't get the me wrong. King. I know he fights. I know he's scrapping. I don't, I'm not one of these guys that's coming like, all he does is run away. Like, no, dude, he's finishing people yes. against the cage. What are you talking about? But this guy through footwork and angles, has some of the best stuff for keeping people at the distance he wants them to be at. So rather than me try to make up some, can, if I'm on my channel. Yo, go for it. Okay, go make up it. some shit, right? <laughs> we have sound, an extra. Does that sound weird around me? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm at, like at my grandma's <laughs> house. <laughs> you don't do that. Now, we can go down some really deep rabbit holes when it comes to angle changes, keeping distance. I want to start with three basic things, okay? Number one, the fight game is geared off of keeping my opponent in my striking range. He wants to keep me in his striking range. I can't let that happen. If I'm in his striking range, it's easier for him to hit me. So for me, I'm a lot longer than guys, than most guys in my division, so I like to keep a farther distance away. So one of the drills that we like to do is if you have an aggressive fight, let's say he's the leader, I'm the follower. Wherever he moves, I've got to keep him in my striking distance. Therefore, if he moves forward, as soon as he moves forward, I've got to back up. Now, if I, if I wait a half a second, if he moves forward, then I decide to move, I've already been hit. I've got to be on point when, when, whenever he moves. If he moves back, I've got to move forward. Because in, in the fight game, I don't want to give my opponent time to rest. And normally when people back up, they're trying to take a breather. I try and break guys that way. I think that's a big issue. Here, Mouse, come close. Wait, isn't this revealing all of Wonder Boy's? Dude, no, his no, secret's good. been revealed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> There's plenty there. of footage on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the biggest problems when people think of keep away is they forget that other gear to then go back forward. Right. Like, so it's not just you running from me for an entire round. 100%. It's like you run from, if you run a little bit, I get tired, I start backing up trying to take a break, and now you shift that gear. Right, so, and I can, now I can come forward and be aggressive with you, not giving you a chance to actually take a breath. Therefore, you always have to be on point the whole time. You don't have time to rest. So I, I think a better way to put it is not keeping someone away, but as he says, keep them in your striking range. Oops. So that's either forward or backwards. So distance management is very, is very important. Now, the second thing that I like, one of my favorite techniques is the sidekick. That's one huge weapon that I use to keep opponents away. Now, a lot of guys, <laughs> where are you going, man? I, I mean, whatever. I said I wasn't going to make up any shit, and you, know, you are just making stuff up. I'm just making stuff up, dude. As soon as this guy comes forward, now I did it against Masvidal, I did it against um, Vicente Luque, and I can strike as I back up. So I'm not just running, I'm actually backing up to try and lure this guy down this rabbit hole, so that way when I throw my strikes, it's got that much more power on it. I can hit this guy with a, with a left hand or a right hand standing still, it's gonna have some power on it. But if I get him moving forward and then I plant and then throw, it's got his momentum behind it which makes that technique more, more powerful, right? So I have my sidekick. So when the guy steps in, either I can back away and throw my sidekick or I can meet him in the middle, boom, as he comes in. Sometimes, like I said, I lure him down the rabbit hole. So I'll back up, this guy's really aggressive. I'll back up, back up, boom, and then I throw it. And off my sidekick, I've got hook kicks, Right? I can, I can move on my angles. So there's a lot of different ways that I can do that. So we, should, one, we should note, note, notice that he's just sidekicked me like several times and nothing happened. <laughs> it, it doesn't work, okay? We just gotta put it out there, it doesn't work. It's just, this is just for sport. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's two. Number three is the angle changes. Now I do this a lot, especially because most people when they fight me, they wanna hit me up somewhere. They wanna get me to the cage. So my lateral movement plays a huge part in keeping my, my opponent at bay or keeping him in strike, my striking range. So this is where it can kinda of go fairly deep. Normally, if we're in an open stance, that means his left foot in front, my right foot in an open stance, I like to move away from his power hand. So the majority of the time, I'm moving this direction. Right? When I fought Jeff Neal, he had his other side forward. I made sure to switch sides and I was constantly moving this way. Not only that, 
but I was actually playing with this front hand a lot. I was always moving this direction, putting, putting his hand in front of him, which takes away the power of his left hand, right? And his kick. So I was always here. I was always moving. And every time he would come forward, I would move, bang, and I would jab, right? He would come forward again. If he switched, I would come the other direction. Bang! But I'm always moving away from that power hand, right? That's just some little basics that, can, that you can use. Yes, I can do open side, right? Or from here, but like, like I did against George Masvidal, I jabbed and I angled off, and I threw the right hand, but that was when he was coming forward, right? He comes forward, and I step off to the side. So I can move to my right, a little bit more advanced, I can move to my left and come off with my strikes. A little bit more difficult. It's, and it's, it's really not just a matter of if someone's super aggressive and just doing this right. and just running. Exactly. If you're a real fighter, you're not just running. As he said, you're putting them where you want them with this open stance stuff. If we're open stance and my foot goes to the outside, I can hit you with all four Everything. limbs yes, and I've severely limited your ability to kick me with this leg, kick me with that punch. You have maybe a little bit of this. And that's the game that most people don't see. They don't, they don't know what they're watching when they're watching it, when, they're, when, they're, when you see two guys fighting out there, especially at the highest level. You'll see two guys standing. Why yeah. aren't they hitting each other? Exactly. Trying but to the, figure but out. The, to the trained eye, they're like, oh my God, this is a chess match. You see people say that all the time, but it's, they're trying to get that footwork right, right? So he's, he wants to definitely keep his front foot to the outside of my left, which makes it easier for him to put his hands on me, makes it more difficult for me, right? So there's a lot of things that you can do to keep your opponent at bay. They're using the sidekick, the distance management, you know, get you somebody at home who can be the leader and just have him move forward or back, side to side, right? Now I've got to stay right here. Yes, just like so, very easy. Yeah, well, I say it. that because <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time. It does take some practice. That's the stuff people don't want to drill that because it's not cool. They just want, let's spar. Yep. Let's spar. It's, it's the basics that most people in the UFC, especially at the highest level, that's what they're using. They're using basics. They're just using them better. They're just, exactly. Yeah. They're just using them better, but it's all basics. So the little things that you, maybe you go to class like, oh man, we're doing footwork again or we're doing shuffles again. Just know that you're working it. You're developing the skills. That way it comes. You're not having to think about it. it just, it's just a reaction. And those are the little things that are going to save you when they, when they turn up the heat on you. Yeah, so the first bit was good. The second, the last bit was good. That stuff in the middle, I don't know. I'll probably. <laughs> Make sure you go subscribe to Wonder Boy's YouTube channel. He is a real YouTuber. He's not one of these other, you know, mainstream clowns that just, like, tries to jump on YouTube. He is really doing a real YouTube channel. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link down in the description below. Uh, Seth, do you have any ideas for an outro? Something funny I could say? That was there, bro. That was, that was, you're putting a whiff bomb right there. That was great.